congratulations that you ever find yourself getting so such a great debut. Thank you. Uh, sure, I've been thinking about it, uh, try to play it out all in my mind, but the real thing beats beats that any time, any day. It was awesome. And how does it feel to have your UFC debut in Manchester? Fantastic. Uh, it was close to home. I got the fight short notice. Uh, still, family and friends and some of the fans from Sweden got to be here. That means a lot to me. Uh, the crowd was amazing. Uh, yeah, just happy. He seemed to land a couple of hard shots at the begin in the beginning of the fight, and you just sucked it up. Was this what was the game plan coming in? Was it to to stretch him a little bit to push the pay? What was the plan coming in? I knew he would come hard, uh, and a major thing would be to keep keep my composure. Uh, I hope I did it. Uh, I saw uh, an opening for a takedown or at least a clinch. Uh, I took it. I knew that would be the way he would open. Um, the plan was not to get hit the way I did. Um, just happy it ended the way it did. How hard were you hit at the beginning? Uh, he hit me hard. I, I can't say if it was from the from the right or from the left, uh, but immediately after I knew where I was and just tried to keep my head cool. As soon as your fight was over, they cut to Alexander Gustafsson and the crowd cheering you on. What sort of effect does he have on, on Swedish MMA fighters and Swedish MMA as a whole? He is by far the pioneer. He's paved the way for, for all of us. Uh, Sure, he wasn't the first guy in the UFC, but what he's done, he's been here, he's been consistent, he's had a world championship fight, um, and what he's done to me personally as a friend and as a training partner, he just proves that you just got to believe in it, work hard, and great things will happen. Did anything surprise you from this fight to Galatia? Uh, you didn't expect? No, I knew he would come hard. I was ready for it. I'm just happy I, I stuck, to, stuck to what I know and got the victory. Last time in Sweden, Dana said that he'd like to do a Swedish event every year. Now that you've done a, a UK event, it's a Europe event, how hungry are you to be able to fight in home in front of your fans? Of course, ask any fighter. Fighting in front of the home crowd, especially for the UFC, is a big dream. Um, whenever they plan on making it back home to Stockholm, Sweden, uh, I hope they give me a call and I'll be ready. Is there, a, is there a type of opponent that you'd look forward to fighting in Sweden? Is there anybody that anybody up there that you think, you know, that would make a great fight for the fans and for me? That's not my job. Uh, other people have, have that as a living. Uh, they do that better than me. I get up in the morning, I go train, I try to get my rest in, get in another session or two if possible, and I just stay focused. Who would you like to fight next? Don't matter. Don't matter? Don't matter. How did it feel knowing you got the fight and preparing against a veteran like Sakara, someone who's had so many UFC fights, was very close to a title shot at one point? Did that affect your preparation at all? No. Like when the phone, honestly, and I don't mean to sound cocky or anything, when the phone call came, I heard I could, like, I heard UFC, I heard Manchester, I heard Sakara. That's all I've been waiting for. I've been doing this for some time now. I've been waiting for my shot and. I got it and I took it. The armbar. Once you once you rolled over, you had you had him belly down. Did you was did you know it was? Uh, and it seemed like you were telling the referee that knew, that it stopped. Yeah, uh, I knew I had it. Uh, I felt him tapping. I heard him verbally tap out. Uh, by no means did I try to like crank on it any harder than necessary. I just looked for the referee to step in and yeah. You mentioned that in the cage with Joe Rogan, you defended the submission. You said that you know you'd stopped straight away and you and you had heard the tap. Is that in part a reaction to what had happened with Rizmar Paul Harris? And is that something that fighters now think about when they're going for submissions? With reference to the fight I just had, I felt I had it. Uh, I didn't need to crank on it any harder. Sure, I could have held on to it all night if necessary. Uh, the refs they did a good, good job. Uh, Maybe it was a few seconds late. All in all, I hope his arm is well, and I'm glad I got the victory. Is there a particular aspect of the game plan that you prepared to hold? Yeah, being ready in the beginning, uh, trusting my conditioning, uh, trusting my skill set wherever I plan on taking the fight. Uh, but things get messed up when you get hit in the head, so <laughs> um, I got to feel that as well. It seems one of the traits, especially of the Swedish fighters and the guys coming out of Sweden, is that you're all incredibly sort of laid back. You have a very relaxed attitude towards 
it, not relaxed as late, but relaxed as and chilled out towards both the fighting and the training. Is that a fair assumption for, for, for us guys to make? There's something about the Swedish way of life or culture, perhaps, that leads to this very relaxed at, attitude when you're in the cage. First off, thank you. Um, I don't know. Uh, I guess I'd have to step outside and look back in to the Swedish uh, kind of culture in that way. Uh, I don't know. We just work hard. We believe in what we do, and yeah, we let our we let it all all out inside the octagon. Is it a confidence thing? You have guys winning fights in the UFC, and you've seen Alex do it, and now you get your chance. Of course, uh, I train with him daily. Uh, I see what he does. I do the same thing. Uh, I see him suffer. We suffer. The rest of the guys, the rest of the guys in the UFC, the rest of the up-and-coming guys. Uh, we believe in the system. We work hard, and giving it all you got, the rest is you're bound to have great things happen to you. Last two questions, guys. Are you satisfied if your next fight is in Stockholm, maybe April, six months? Uh, I'd love to fight in Stockholm. You mentioned Alex Gutterson as a training partner, a friend of yours, and him having that title fight is a big inspiration. Personally, you know, it was a very close fight. How did you score that fight? I know you're somewhat biased, but you know, do you think that he, he should now be light heavyweight champion? Of course, I'm biased. Uh, <laughs> needless to say, uh, still though, I, I had him winning that fight. Um, with that said, hats off to John Jones as well. He he showed he's he's the champ for a reason. Uh, it was an awesome fight, and as a fan, I was just stoked to to witness it. Um, I hope Alex gets his shot again and has learned from that experience. Perfect, thanks guys. Thank you very much. Sweet.